Well, new tonight on a much brighter note, Ole Miss uh, coming away with its first national championship last week, and today fans got to take it all in in true Ole Miss fashion. Our Avery Braxton was in Oxford for all the festivities. Well, hotty toddy, the Ole Miss Rebels returned to Oxford after a magical run in Omaha, and they had a chance to celebrate with their friends, family, and fans their first ever national championship. It was a long time coming, since 1893, in fact. Ooh, never thought we would experience something like this. All our dreams are coming true right now. Some fans got to experience the championship in Omaha. When the Rebels won it all, and turns out Omaha feels a lot like home. <laughs> It was awesome. It felt like it was Mississippi and Omaha. Uh, the sportscasters on the Omaha station said of the 26,000 people in the stadium, 25,000 were from Mississippi. <laughs> Wednesday, Rebel Nation got to experience it in Oxford with a parade and celebration. <laughs> Finally, the Rebels got to address their fans after a season where they fell down. But boy, did they get back up. You show the world that if you believe in yourself, when you believe in something bigger than yourself, if you work really hard, you can accomplish anything. They actually live. Number 25, the Captain Tim Elko. For seniors like Tim Elko, it'd be the last time they'd address Ole Miss that year. It, it hasn't really hit me yet that, you know, my, my time as an Ole Miss Rebel is, is coming to an end. Um, so I just have tried to enjoy every single moment, you know, the games we had in Omaha, um, you know, this experience with the parade, and um, I'm just proud and honored and, and blessed to have been able to be an Ole Miss Rebel for five years. The Ole Miss Rebels are champions. Hotty toddy. In Oxford, I'm Avery Braxton.